Hello fellow space engineers, GopeScope here from the GopeScope Gaming Channel, and today I'm going to bring you just a short video that's covering basically how to use blueprints in um, both creative and survival. So uh, let's start out by just creating a new world. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a, an empty world so it loads quickly. I'm going to start with creative. Go into advanced settings. You want to make sure if you're using blueprints in creative where you're going to try to copy and paste completed ships into the game. Uh, you're going to want to use this enable copy paste. You got to make sure that's checked. Otherwise you won't be able to use them. So once you're all set there, uh, go ahead and hit OK. Sometimes I do these just because you want to have spectator on occasion. doesn't really matter too much, but I might use it in the video possibly here, so I'll have that checked. But the main thing with using blueprints is enable copy paste and then go ahead and create the world. And once you've got it all loaded up, uh, what you can do is just hit the uh, F10 key. Unless you have it bound to a different key, uh, if you do, if F10 doesn't open this blueprints screen, um, you can go into options and controls, and I would think somewhere in here um, you should be able to find uh, where you would bind that differently, although I'm not entirely sure because I haven't looked where that would be. But just hunt around a little bit in the, the options there if it's not F10. It should be. I think that's the default. So you hit F10, it brings up the blueprint screen. And uh, there's a way you can search here if you've got a bunch of blueprints. Um, otherwise, you can just select from the list. Uh, there's a little icon next to these. The icon indicates whether or not it is a blueprint that is on your computer or one that is uh, from the Steam Workshop. So here you can see different ones. We've got uh, these are all... Uh, blueprints that are on my computer and then with the steam uh, logo here all of those are actually uh, I guess um, blueprints that I've subscribed to from steam so when you go onto this if you hit shift tab and get the steam overlay up or if you go into the steam workshop outside of the game and you find a ship or whatever that you want to get into the game you hit that little green plus arrow and subscribe to it then it will show up in your blueprint screen and if you subscribe to it uh, and you don't see it in here and you're you're not reloading the game before you use it again you might just have to hit refresh blueprints and then it will look again and you should see it pop up so once you've got that uh, I'll use one from the Steam Workshop just so you see that it does work from the Steam Workshop you just click on whatever ship you're going to uh, paste into the game and then hit OK and then kind of like uh, copying and pasting in Word, go ahead and uh, you, you can just use the shortcut of Control, hold down Control and hit V. And then you'll see that's, that's pasting the ship into the world. And once you've got it in the world like that, you can move your character around and uh, fly it around and it will move, uh, it will move the ship. But if you want to change the orientation, you use the uh, Home End, which do this, Home End, Insert, Page Up, delete and page down keys and that that way you can do all kinds of turning and, and maneuvering it uh, and then uh, when you're ready to place it you just hit the left click on the mouse button and it will be placed into the world now if you want to uh, delete it you hit control hold control and hit X while pointing at it and it'll ask if you want to delete it it will say it'll save so you're basically cutting it at this point so uh, you're removing it from the world and then you can hit control V again to put it right back into the world now this time when you hit control V it's not pasting from the blueprint it's pasting from what you just cut so if I had placed this into the world from the blueprint and then deleted a bunch of stuff from it like just, I don't know, messed up the whole side of the ship and then hit control X and cut it out there's a bunch of crap kinda of missing there when I hit control V and paste it into the world it's that same ship that had all that stuff removed from it. So it's not, it's not uh, renewing it from the blueprint. It's uh, cutting it and moving it somewhere else, if that makes sense. Now, if you want to duplicate a ship that's already in the world, you could go back into the blueprint and select it again and then paste it in again. But a faster way to do it is to hold Control and hit C for copy. And then that will copy whatever uh, ship you're pointing at. So again, here... It's copying the ship with all of the damage that I had done to it already. If you want to get a pristine version of it, then you'd hit F10 and go back in, select the ship, and hit Control V to copy the uh, the new ship in that doesn't doesn't have any damage. It's just just like what would come from the Steam Workshop. Uh, one note on copying and pasting: 
Uh, not a huge deal, but especially if it's something that doesn't have any gyros or thrusters or power yet and you don't want it to go flying off somewhere. If you're moving, so you see my speed is increasing here, if you paste it, if you paste something, it will inherit your inertia. So there you see all those thrusters firing. It was moving pretty fast, so the thrusters are now trying to slow down and stop the ship. Uh, and they will eventually do that. If, however, there were no thrusters or, or gyros and you were doing that, it would just keep flying off into space. Um, another thing about cutting and pasting is that wherever you are in relation to the ship, so here I'm pretty far away from it, it'll inherit that distance. So if I hit Control X and delete the object and then go to repaste it, you'll notice it's really far away from me again. It's not up close like it is from the, uh, the Blueprint uh, Steam Workshop. So just a couple of notes there. Now for blueprints in survival mode, uh, you won't have the option to paste in completed ships because, of course, that's kind of cheaty for survival mode. Um, the way that you use blueprints is with these projectors, and there's a, uh, you've got a small ship projector and a large ship projector, and they will project based on uh, their ship grid and the ship grid of the blueprint. So you can't paste uh, or you can't project uh, a large ship or a station I suppose with the small ship projector and you can't project a small ship with the large ship or station projector. So if we go into the the button panel you can grab uh, uh, one of these projectors and let me go ahead and show this on HUD and antenna I'm not sure which one's which so okay so we've got the large ship projector here so we're going to go into Blueprints, and then we can grab, uh, let's just grab the Tethys again, we're already using that, and uh, just select it and hit OK. And as long as these things have power, you will now have, and it's it's big, and <laughs> the uh, uh, placement of the pivot point is in the middle of the ship. So here you have the projected image of the Tethys. And from there, uh, to build it in survival, which um, this would be kind of a crazy ship to build in survival, potentially. I mean, the, the amount of materials involved is substantial, but uh, if you wanted to do it from, uh, uh, from, from the, uh, the very inside here out is how you do it, and I'm trying to find... So uh, one thing is that some of these ships aren't really intended to be used with a projector, so like this Tethys, I haven't optimized it. If you wanted to use this with a projector... Um, what you'd want to do is change the pivot point so that it's maybe like at the bottom of the ship or, or something like that, maybe. Uh, the way it is now, what you would do is come inside here and start welding around, um, around this projector. Because it, it has to start from the projector and work its way out. Uh, otherwise it won't. So like you can see there, we just welded something. You can't um, fly for example, to the outside of the hull and start welding this engine because it's not attached to anything yet. So it has to go from the projector outward like this. So these ones that are nearby will work, and I could just chain this all the way back and basically... Obviously, I'm in creative. That's why this is uh, building immediately. Uh, but this is how it works in Survival 2. It's just easier to demonstrate in creative. So you can see here where... Now, this one isn't actually connected directly to this block, so you'd have to build around to something else that is so we can keep flying down until we find another block that's connected so that's kinda how it goes um, that's how you would build that in creative uh, and it's it's sort of a, a big mess here because it's fairly large but if we get back in side here and I find <laughs> it's hard to tell what's real and what isn't in here it's it's like the matrix I'm in the space engineers matrix um, i got to find my button panel. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's sneaky. Now, if you just go in here and say you want to get rid of that, all you have to do is, is go to the same one here and uh, hit remove. And there you see it's gone. Now, if you want, if you're doing something like uh, an automated um, torpedo launch system like the Tethys has, uh, you select it in the blueprints just like I did. And then in order to stop from having, in order to not have to select it manually each time, you just click keep projection and then it'll build and you can, uh, you know, remove it whether it's with a cutter or a merge block um, or doing it manually and that uh, projection will remain there. Uh, 
onto the projector for the small ships then, if you go to blueprints. Now, if I tried to put civil station here, that's a big, um, large ship station, hit OK. So look at that, incorrect grid size, blueprint size must match that of the projector. So I was trying to use a small ship projector to project a station, which doesn't work. So if we do um, instead like this sun spider is a small ship, it works just fine. Hit OK, and there it is projected there. So if you wanted to build this from that projector, you just start again with the block or blocks closest to the projector and work your way out. So if I can get close enough to use it. Oh, that's interesting that that's not working. You know, I wonder if... Okay, so so like here we have this not, not functioning, and I think that might be because uh, that can't connect uh, properly. So let's see if we can just adjust this a little bit. So even if your pivot point isn't perfect, you can go in here to these offsets and move the ship in different directions, up and down, etc. So here I moved it down a little bit. This isn't You'd want to be more careful and figure out the, the best way to do this because now some of the ship is in this block, but just as in a demonstration. Now it's in by armor blocks, and it should build. Oh, I'm trying to build the cockpit. So, okay, so we have to raise it a little bit because the projector's in the cockpit, and if the projector's in a, bo uh, a block that you're trying to build, it won't work. So let's raise this up there. And now it's just under the cockpit, and it should... There we go. There's the cockpit built. And now these can build because they're connected to a constructed block. And of course, a uh, way to do this that's much faster than what I'm doing now is what you'd see on that uh, Dione carrier video, which is having a grinder set up with a calibrated projection in front of them that, uh, you know, like large ship or small ship grinders, depending on what you're doing, or grinders, I'm sorry, I'm saying, uh, I'm saying grinders, I mean welders. Um, you have the welders set up uh, just like I do in the Dione carrier or something like that where they're automatically building the whole thing. And if you're building something big, you can have them connected to pistons or rotors to have them kind of start in close and uh, by where the, uh, the projection block is and then move um, as they go. And they'll, they'll build as they go. So from here, you can just continue adding on, um, adding on to parts here as you go until you've built the whole ship. And uh, that's, that's basically how these work in survival. I mean, the weird projection here, the Tethys that I started building. Um, but uh, that's, that's essentially it. So I hope this helped. And if you have any questions about this or anything didn't make sense or I missed something important, by all means, please feel free to mention it in the comments. And uh, uh, I'd be happy to try to clear anything up. Thanks for watching.